My name is Dorcas Neo Najira. I'm a TV trainer in St. Chizito Survey, TSS. I'm here as the one who was trained in RTTI as a certified TV trainer, in addition, certified senior TV trainer. I have a bachelor's degree in building and construction technology. I teach in construction and building services as sector, especially I'm head of department of public work and the road construction. There are two sessions, theoretical and practical. When it is in the theoretical, there are the required document, but today we are going to look at the practical. For us, we have session plan, which is the second one to the scheme of work. We will have task sheet, which contains the all instructions and all uh, steps to which the trainees will refer to while working. And also we will need the assessment. Assessment containing also the instruction to which they will refer to to produce the work independently without my guidance. So those are the resources required as appendices for my session plan. Also, after that, we will involve the runners reflecting to the methodology. Those methodology, I, run, I have run them from RTTI. So you will see the, some steps. The model we look at today is for level three public work. It is called masonry works. So for that, we will look at running outcome three, which is erect brick wall. And after that, we look at for indicative content uh, three, which is ray bricks. So some of people can ask themselves why in the public work we need to erect a brick wall. We need them because they contain different bonds we can refer to while we are constructing different structure, public work structures like drainage. Sometimes some drainage requires those bricks and that masonry work also includes the stones, but today we reflect on no bricks. In addition, people can ask themselves, when do we fill this pedagogical document? While filling pedagogical document, you should do it in advance before teaching or training the trainees because it makes you aware of what is required. For example, Scheme of work, it is planned on the beginning of the year before starting. You know, the chronogram is planned in advance while we are planning to, to have academic year before, sometimes in holidays. Then after, we can have scheme of work. For our case in our school, we plan the scheme of work one week before. By planning the scheme of work, also, while you plan to have a class, you can plan it a week before, you can plan it a day before, but before you enter in the class, you should have a session plan. A session plan will help you to see each step can be filled in the time you are teaching, which resource will you need to make a requisition to the school, and those, uh, those, uh, resources, when they are available, you can go on, no challenge. That is about the time. Also, you can ask uh, the content about scheme of work. For the content about scheme of work, it will reflect to the curriculum given by RTB, whereby we will see the running outcomes required, we will see the indicative content to be taught, and you will see the resources and the type of assessment you will use, and also the tools and equipment, even the materials you will need. Those one will help the school to plan for your module. That is about the content of scheme of work. When we, we look at the ones of RTB, the curriculum, 
those chronogram, curriculum will guide you about the scheme. And the chronogram will guide you to place the time bound of your scheme of work will be referring to the chronogram. You will not do it randomly. There is a time, allocation, hours from the curriculum, the weeks from the chronogram. Then after, uh, when we look at the, the, the session plan also, the content of it is about the trainer, the module name, the learning outcome, even the competence, uh, those are about the heading. Also, you will indicate on your session plan which range. The range you will cover on that time is the one you, you write. After that, you will also fill the part of objective. For the objective, you make sure that at the end, you will achieve them. You will not guess somehow. You make sure it is they are achieved. That is about part of objective. It should be time bound, not saying tomorrow. You judge it in time. You are performing or you are delivering the session. After that, there is a part uh, containing the procedure of your session, and there is a part of reflection. You feel it after teaching or training. You see if you have done it correctly, you have achieved the objective, you feel the reflection. That is about the part of session plan. After that, as we have said before, appendices, they are the ones which will help you while delivering in the process. After when and the parts, we can ask for ourselves or yourself, what is the impact of your pedagogical document? Normally, when the teacher or trainer has accomplished all required process while planning, you are able to deliver the session without disturbance. Also, you have, you will be aware of the atmosphere, the environment where you will be delivering the session. There is no challenge or disturbance except some accident which can happen, but normally, Everything is available. That is about uh, the impact of planning. So that is about the use of pedagogical document, impact, and the content. Now we are going to do a practical session, which will be ended by integrated assessment as practical assessment. Morning, class. How are you? I think you are okay. Everything's okay. Good. Uh, we are going to continue with our module, Masonry Works. And uh, I hope everyone is uh, here. No one is absent. Boneri is around Christia, Obed, Berange, Mansir, Benny. Obed in our division. Thank you so much. So we are going to continue with our model and on the running outcome, three, erect brick wall. And our topic of today, we, you will guess it. So who can remind me what we have seen to, yesterday? Yes, uh, Cedric. Yesterday we have seen how to set out Mm -hmm. And we have also seen how to mix cement with sand. We have seen it there and mm -hmm. how to estimate the quantity of water to be used to mix water. Mm -hmm. So based on what we have say we have seen yesterday, who can guess the topic of today? Yes, uh, Olivier. Mm -hmm. The topic of today is to elect or elect or Berange. I think the topic of today is to lay head a bond. Lay head a bond. Can you remind me the other bond we have seen? Stretcher bond. Stretcher bond. English. English bond. So we have seen different bond, and today we are going to, to look at laying head a bond brickwork. That is the 
topic of today. So our objective of the, the session is about raying effective re header bond brickwork as required in masonry works. And the, the other objective we will achieve is checking or verifying the address of revering vertically and the horizontally of our brick courses. Thank you so much. Any clarification? Any clarification about the objective or the topic? No clarification. So now, who can remind me the ground rules we should reflect, reflect on while we are in a workshop? Yes, Cedric? Using tools and equipment appropriate. Mm -hmm. Use uh, tools and equipment appropriately. Why do we need to, to use them appropriately? Obed. Prevent injuries. To prevent injuries. Another one? Other instruction? Christian. Cleaning the workplace after work. Cleaning the workplace after work to prepare the, the work of next day. Another one? Mansir. Cleaning the tools after use. Cleaning the tools after use. That's good. It is about maintenance of what? Tools and equipment. Another one? Olivier? You have to respect the instruction given by the trainer. Yes, you should respect the instruction given by the trainer to make sure the task will be ended with the proper output. Thank you so much. So now we are going to continue our work by selecting required materials, tools, and the equipment. So I'm going to start by tools. So for our task of laying brickwork, we are going to use spirit level. If I take one tool, you two for each group will have two tools. So I have I take spirit level. You two, you can take it them. Spirit level two for each group. Also, we will need the tape measure. For your group, you take two. Also, we will need the T-square. Also, we will need pegs. Each group will have three pegs. So you take three. Me too, I take three. Also, all of you have you taken the the pegs? So also we will need the hammer. So I have steel pegs. Do you have all of you you have steel pegs for each group? Three. Good. What about tape measure? Okay, good. And everyone, every group has two spirit level. Show me. Mm -hmm. Then we need also the throw. We need throw. You take two throw for each group.
Also, we will need building grind. It may take two for each group. There is no problem. Then also we will need uh, mashet or panga to be used. So those was about tools. So we are going to look at equipment. So for us, the equipment required are those two. We have basket, have basket, and we have wheelbarrows. Those will be used for our groups commonly. We will use them while transporting water and sand. And also for the material. You go back. The material we will need, we will need cement. We will need to use cement here. We have cement. We have bricks and sand. That is about the bricks are there and the sand is there. So we will use them together to produce our brick wall. Thank you so much. So. The next step, as a group, we are going to work as a team to produce the motor, to mix the motor with respect of time. After mixing the motor, we will come back to, to set and start laying the bricks. Thank you. So we have each group is having three members. So we are going to bring the materials around. The one member of each group will bring the bricks around their work, and the other one, too, will work together to produce the mortar here. Here we have where to mix the mortar. We may start. You take the wheelbarrow for those who are going to bring the sand. You choose where to start from. Take your place with arrow shape, one side 80 and another side 80. So what you are going to do is what I'm going to do. You take your duriting line like this. Take it like this. Make formation like this. Then you fix it to your peg. So you can fix. Can you take where to fix? Give me. Let, let the others start. You take where to fix. Yes. But this one is a brick. It's inclining. Fix. enough it should stand vertically after that we are going to measure we are going to measure at least one meter of length take your tape measure 
And another, another, you will take another peg, steel peg. At least one meter. Check if you have at least one meter. You can extend, but not going less than one meter. Give me your tape measure. Oh, put it there. Internal dimension. It is not meter. It is not in the internal. But you can fix it, extend it. You can go beyond one meter, but not less one meter. Here you have one meter external, internal, external, not internal. External, it should be internal. You have one meter externally, but not internal. You go beyond. At least greater than or one meter. You take that. Have you finished? Also, you are going to take another peg. We'll fix it. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Have you finished? Is standing vertically. So now what we are going to do is just measuring the distance from here to empty from here to empty. Then you measure, measure the distance, 20. It is about 80. I want one, 20, 80. Then I want to, to put this here. Do you have one, one meter? Internal, you have adjusted. That we measure the distance, which will give us 80 from here up on here. Where is? Have you measured? Good. You do like this. No, not 80. Oh, I'm in there. 
Okay, good. Okay, good. I want eight from where we will put here, like this. No, this is done. So you will adjust. Show me. I want 80. You fix the tape measure there. That, this building line is not well fixed. Then you measure first. I want to see the distance. We will level after. Yeah, this is what the truck baseline. We are Fixing the baseline. No, it is greater than somehow. Now, what we are going to do after fixing this baseline, we are going to use spirit level to give orientation. Clear? So we are going to use spirit level have you fixed? Bring this the tape major. To see the distance. No, no, no. Not 80. Mm -hmm. Somehow. But this is not fixed vertically. You you are you have eight. But your peg is not fixed where. You see, you fix it in this way. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now bring your tape measure. To see the distance. So we will see. Now, after fixing these pegs, we are going to use spirit level and the sphere to see the right angle and the leveling. Yes. So now, you remove your, no, 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 no. We start by, as we have seen, we start by measuring the height of eight. Eight centimeters on your peg. Here. What we have done is just fixing only. Then you measure there on the starting. Eight, yes. Eight on the height. Do you have eight? You are just down. At least you can have it like this because then after to fix here you will use spirit level even here measure eight have you do you have eight take it like this I want this one also to see do you have eight You have? Okay, no problem. Now, what next is just to level by using spirit level. You come and see what we do. All of you come here. You take the spirit level. 
to direct your work, your building line. Can go to the starting peg. Yes. Now go down. No, up. Up. Down. Fix. You too, you do it for yourself. Do it. Start. I will verify. Go down. Da down. No, adjust there. You do like this to see what to be done. Up. Up. No, down. Fix. Fix. Even here. Let me see. Is it ever? Yes. Now, you will do like this. Come and see. You will come here. Then, you measure the height again. Come, fix it, then you come. Fix it, then you come. What next? You come and measure here to see. Then you are going to go there on this in this direction. What we will use is about the next peg. You fix it there. You take it. You you take the other one. Now you will use. We will use, we will have eight. Only, but you can use on also greater than eight, but not less than eighty. So, what I'm going to do is just directing you with by use of spirit level. May you put it up? Yes, like this. Do you have, uh, you use your peg like this to direct, to give direction. Take it like this. You level, bring set sw the square. You level. You go down, 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 yes. Then you use your set square. Look at here, you check. For the set square, you fix on the baseline we started with. Don't change the direction. Better we use this more, which is then you you will go refer to according to the square. No, 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 don't push me. Go slowly. You go slowly. No, no. no. You adjust. Don't go. Don't go slowly. Adjust. Adjust. 
Yes. Now you can fit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait. Back then. Yes. Fix. Now, what am I going to do? After fixing your peg, again, I'm going to level once again before you tie your building line. Down. Yes, fix. You check again, you can go down. Down. No, no, no. Again, just yes. Now fix. Now you can repeat for yourself. Then I check. You fix that one. So for you, you check eight. It is equal to eight. Check for the distance. One centimeter missing. We will adjust. Eight. Now, you first start by here. Have you revert? Yes, you measure eight. Yes, then you tie. Now you can mix, you can mix, mix appropriately, like this, you start by putting it up. Now we are going to mix this cement mortar, and you know the ratio we can use in elevation. Who can tell us the ratio? To be used in elevation. Yes, Cedric. The ratio to use in elevation is one to four. One to four means? Means what, Berange? One bag of cement and four wheelbarrow of sand. Yes, one bag of cement, wheelbarrow, four wheelbarrows of sand. Clear? Now, you know the steps of mixing. Who can tell me what to do? Benny? Speak loudly. The first step is select material. So we can be mixed water. Yes, then? Yes, Cedric. Using sand and, sand and cement for the purpose of gaining uniform color. Yes, you will take sand first, then you put cement up to make, to make sure you will not lose any material, especially cement. And also, you will mix to get uniform color. Then after you bring water, and you make it uh, somehow moderate, not too much, not small water. Not little water, not too much water. Because we should get the one which is workable. Clear? 
So we can start mixing. You know, we start from here, around. Then you can turn it again, you can turn to the first, do it as we have seen it before, you mix as we have seen. It is not only bringing it like that, you can do like this to make sure it is uniform color, not turning it only. Yes, bring another one. It is already mixed. Mix again. The color is not uniform. Continue. Bring another one. Mix. That one is not uniform color. Continue. Mix. When you see the different color, you start mixing. Mix. And also put it the water there. Enough. And mix down this side only. The other one will be used for for making it new. So you can do like this. You put water here. Then you rate that part. This one will be used for rejuvenating. You put water there, a little one. Water, where is it? Another water. Mm 
so this is what you want to see. So it has drained it. Yeah. You can use the remaining one for rejuvenating. Don't mix with the upper one. Don't, don't. Just put it there. Now, what you are going to do is just transporting your motor around your working area. You put there inside your wall. There. So for us, we can put it here like this. So the next group is that one, and you two, you can transport it to your working area. Each group will have what around. Then you can take water around your working area. Each group will have one basket of water. Mm -hmm. You too. Then you take that one. Now you are going to water, you are going to make watering because of this dust. Remove this panga. The foundation has been dried as it has been constructed a long time ago. When you start erecting your brick wall, you make, you water the foundation when it has been a long time constructed. Now, you take your throw. You are going to put the cement mortar on your working area and you make sure it will not go beyond two millimeters, two centimeters, sorry. And I hope you have marked where there is a distance of 80, 80 centimeters. You lay it on the distance of 20 centimeter equal to the length of the brick.
Do you have eight here? So the thickness here is not equal. See? So you have paper like this. You estimate 20 of thickness of your wall. Clear? Like this. 20 Everyone has has done it Now come and see We are going to start laying our course first course The header bond has the starting containing uh, what we call is three quarter bat. Three quarter bat, you know it? Mm -hmm. On the side, they call it troaka. Mm -hmm. We start by three quarter bat. That is what we are going to do. We measure three quarter bat. Mm -hmm. The brick is having 20 centimeter. And 20 centimeter divided by two. Equal to? Yeah. 10, then 10 divided by two, equal? Seven. Five, then we will take 10 plus, it means it is about a half plus one, uh, one quarter, one over four, it is 15. So we take the brick and we measure one, three quarter, but bring it. Three quarter bat will be equal to fifteen for our bricks. Fifteen. No, oh, sorry. It is a half plus one over four. Then what is my panga? What you will do is just ha marking the whole length. All side will be marked. Like this, then you cut. Bonnet. You can cut from as uh, your left side, not on the exact uh, exact uh, point because you can cut it badly. Each group cut two, three quarter but as I, I am marking. You measure 15. So we are going to erect the wall as required to our topic. You see, 
the first course has three quarter baths looking to your right. Yeah. Even you can start by left, but for us, we will start by yeah. right. Yeah. Then, even you. Do you see? Yeah. The first course is this one. It will be similar to the third, the fifth, the seventh, even all in pair numbers. And the second one will be similar to the fourth, the sixth, the eighth, the twelfth, and tenth, and so on. All pair numbers. Clear? Yeah. So now we are going to start from left, looking to the right. Bring your your set your spirit level and this this way. You are going to work with these two tools. and they draw around you. You start by fixing your brick. Like this. The second one. You know, we started by leveling. We started by leveling this spirit level. It's building lines. They are leveled. That's why I'm working with them. Yes. And you know, the joint is equal to what? To one centimeter, which can be equal to our finger. Make sure your brick edge is on the building line and then you can see and you can use your your set your square to see if they are making right angle then after fixing this what do you do we will fix also the other bricks. You see? This one is going to, f to, to cover this joint. Clear? And you make sure the two bricks, the two uh, half brick equal to one brick, full brick. Clear? Then after, we continue like this, inspecting the joint. You see, I'm using my finger like this. After this, I can continue to the other side. You see? Here the motor is too, is not enough. 
we can use we can increase the motor work you work on the building line which is already leveled you continue to the other side you will add another motor this is because the ground is not leveled enough Use your finger to measure the joint. Like this. Till the end. So you can go and do it as I have started. Then you show me. You the the starting point is about this three quarter, but and should be leveled. We start with two bricks with three quarter, but the motor is not enough. You add the motor. Two bricks of three quarter, but please don't knock with your true. You can use another half brick, which is broken like this. Don't knock with the the hand of your true. You can even use your hammer, this handle, like this. You can use even this. But don't attack the building line. Yes. You can even use the handle of your hammer to make it fixed. You can even use the handle of your hammer. Um. We are going to check the accuracy of leveling by using swear and the spirit level. So to check our course, then we continue with the second course. Now, you place your spirit level as usual upon your course and check. Everyone place it on the first line of the course. Yes. Okay. Put it there. Okay. So you put the next one. Okay. Can you check the by using the your sphere to check the, the right angle? Put it there in the corner. Is it okay? Check the right angle, yes. 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 After that, 
we are going to to spread the mortar upon this course. Spread the mortar upon the course. Don't use uh, too much mortar. Use the one which is required. And feel the joint, please. Feel the joint, please as we have done on the stretcher bond. Spread. Refer to what we have done to the stretcher bond. Spread the motor upon it. You feel the joint. Spread it at all the course. You add the water somewhere there to the motor. To make it wet, you can add the water, a little water. Yes, spread the motor. Evenly. Spread it. Here, to make it clear. Spread it even here. You spread. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you know, you come around. The next step is just laying the second course. On the second course, we have seen we start with three quarter, but then it will look opposite to the first one. So, on the corner, we start with, we, spa, we start with the three quarter bat. We level it after fixing. You remember the joint is equal to what? Two centimeter to one centimeter with by using your your finger. Your finger. Then after, before you continue, you can use your brick there on the starting. You, you start, no, you use by feeling so that we can fix the, spirit, the building line. You see, it is up on the, the, the joint. It is in the middle of the joint too. To make, there is no continuation of joint. Then, I'm going to adjust my building line so that I can see if there is leveling. Even here. Mm -hmm. 
have you seen? I start there with a brick here, three quarter bath. Then I adjust my building line according to the height of my my brick. Who can come and help me here? Come here. Because I'm going to use the the spirit level and it set swell. Bring to me that's a tape measure. You go inside. Inside. Yes. Like this.
then after what next i can check the height here is it eight no so you can adjust your building right upon eight Does revo it? Go down. Yes, you can. Down. Yes. Yes. Now, what I'm going to check is just laying the next lay the next bricks so that I can check the right angle by having all bricks. Make sure I'm closing the continuity of joint. Can you bring water to mix this, it becomes dry, to make it workable, you add little. Can use the joint. Then again check the swearness. So you can check again. When you are checking, you can adjust like this. Adjust. What is it? What to do is just filling with you. You bring the queen closer.
This one is where the next one will continue with. So you check again. That one is not on this here. Like this. You bring this one. Yes, the second one is red and delivered, so you can do it for yours. Then we check. Make your, your mortar wet. It's somehow dried. Add a little water. So you can clean around. You add there. On the one which is so you may place the three quarter bat upon your 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 course. So you can add the water there and you check again.
Have you met with a challenge? Hmm? No challenge. Yes. No, in here it is not where the 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 good work or, or what we call Levering. It is where the face, the good faces, where will be looked from. We have chosen the outer one because the bricks are not equal. Clear. So we check here outside. Yes, inner will be plastered. Yes, we assume we will plaster inner. Then the outside we will finish only the joint. But you can make your motor wait. Can you make your motor wait somehow? Green liners, please. Are you your giant eco? Okay, continue. Please make your motor wet. Don't lose any material. Are your bricks laid properly? Can you add the water? There. A little one. Again. Yes. There, there is a problem. No, you can remove a little bit. Again, check. You see, the problem is about here. Again, something missing. Here. Yes. Can you continue? You add the last motor. Add the last motor, please. You one can check it. Use another side. Okay, continue.
Feed the giant. When you have finished the work, what next? Yes. Have you missed the wet motor? Please use the wet motor. When it is dry, it is not good. I want the remaining motor. What are you going to use that one? Okay, you want to use it. Good. Don't remove the pegs. We will need them for the assessment. So, as you have finished, try to clean. Then after, we summarize what we have seen. Clean the workplace, don't remove anything. We want to see your product clearly. So you are damaging the tools, please. We want to see your product clearly. Stack the, the bricks around. Remove this one. Is your work clean? Good. Thank you. You have done a good job, and I see you have finished. So I want you help me to summarize. I want you help me to summarize what you have done during the practice. Who can tell me the first step you have passed through? Obed. First step, now sit. Speak now, three. Now sit. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. How have you set the baseline? Who can tell me? Bonnet. By fixing the pegs. We have started by fixing the first peg and with what? Ben, uh, Berang. You? I'm stretching the building line. You have used, you fixed the peg, then you fix the building line on the first peg. Then after orienting the building line, what have you used? This way. To orient the building line, we have used it for the first time. Spirit level. Spirit level. Then after, we used the spirit, the T. So, yes, building swear. 
Then after, what have you, will you done? The next? Benny? Speak loudly. Fix other page from... Other page or peg? Other page mm -hmm. from baseline tapes until the other... until the major... until the way of major or other... Profile page. Yes. After that, we have fixed the next page. What else? Yes, Cedric. Measure the required distance of the of our wall. Which distance have we used? Or if it is a truth. Eight centimeters for each side. Uh -huh. What about laying of bricks? Christian, where, where are you? How have we started for laying bricks? We have measured on the peg eight centimeters from the ground and that way that is... Speak loudly. I'm saying about fixing and laying bricks. How have we started? We have started from laying the quarter bars. The and quarter bars? And the... Three quarter bars. Mm -hmm. Then after after we put the this where to, to know where we lay other bricks. Yes, we have used this where and the spirit level to orient the other bricks from the starting one. Mm -hmm. Which courses are similar? Mm. Mansir. The first course is Sorry? The first course. Uh -huh. Similar to the first course. Uh -huh. And, and the? the second course is similar to the third course. The first course is similar to the third, the, the same as the, the fifth, as the impaired number, and the second is similar to the fourth, and next to the pair numbers. Clear? Any question about what you have done? Any challenge you have met with? No question about the work. 